Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Face of Sargist and welcome back to Factorio A noob's adventure to space That's what I'm calling the series In any case, uh, in the last episode, it was an hour or so long I did a bunch of things, for example I queued up a bunch of researchers, then after that yeah, and I upgraded most of my tracks to red tracks, and after that episode ended, I decided just to do a little bit of off-screen researching because that takes time. And suffice to say, I am basically running out of researchers that don't require the blue science, that is the chemical science pack. And I'm two thirds of the way actually automa automatizing it. Automatizing it, however you pronounce it. I set this up as a red circuit factory. Basically, I have all of these assemblers making copper, inserting directly into this, and from here I will take green circuits and plastic. I don't currently need a whole lot of them, but if I ever do, I can just expand it, uh, and also preparing for this I actually expanded my circuit factory here by a hundred percent basically, I added no, maybe more no, yeah, by a hundred percent I added four more assemblers and later on if this can't actually keep up I'll just replace the regular inserters with fast inserters etc etc I also made another line here which will actually supplement this iron plate production and I actually got an achievement uh, build a locomotive so, and actually transitioning into that I still won't be going for plastic and oil production, at least not yet, what I've decided to do is actually dabble in something I never dabbled before and that is trains so basically I have this little setup here and this will directly supplement my iron plates because I was basically thinking if I was to increase my iron production and my steel production which I still don't need to increase, not just yet I will need to tear down this wall and essentially move all of my defenses to like here and in all honesty I didn't want to bother with that I'm still going strong with copper and I have more room to expand my copper production and I was thinking, you know, currently it's okay but when I take out the ammo to refill all of this, all of this will essentially collapse. So I was thinking and I thought why not make a train? You know, it's essentially it's a single way train, basically a single track train set from here from this stop, I'll just show you that, uh, which is called take out iron plates and essentially when the train comes back here it will be refueled from this wooden chest with the fast inserters and these 8 fast inserters, since I still don't have uh, stack inserters will empty it out and that will feed it directly over here now my iron plate is technically still not a problem you know but it will be so I essentially just built a gate here and here's my car and this goes all the way over here which I will show you now I still have yet to uh, create uh, tallish I'm terrible at driving I still didn't create the forge or the mining thing but I gathered more than enough resources so, yeah, let's take it from here. 
So it's a single cargo wagon which will hold 40 of these with just iron chests, uh, iron plates. And essentially I'll have a line or something going through here and these fast inserters. We'll just take the iron plates, fill them up into this into these steel chests, and then these steel chests will just be emptied into this cargo wagon. Now the reason for this is the cargo wagon has 40 storage slots while each of these chests has 48. So essentially what I'm hoping to do is just mine enough iron from this patch right here, turn it into iron plates and then just feed it to this. And essentially whenever I'm out of iron plates or something, this uh, the train will just come over here and a bunch of iron plates will already be here in storage and they'll just get added to the cargo wagon. Of course that will be when actually all of my production is satisfied and this actually fills up. Until then this train will just sit here. Now essentially what I want to do first is set up a mining station right over here and I think about twenty or so will be enough. Okay, actually, let's add one more so it's 30. I brought along a bunch of resources and I hope to tap this out efficiently. I also brought along electricity and I do plan to actually wall off this entire area and protect the train as well. But I'll wall this off as an outpost, the train will, well basically it will just have to fend for itself. I doubt I'll actually come to an attack of some sorts anytime soon from this general direction. But who knows, perhaps when I start polluting the crap out of this place here, that will change as well. So, let's begin. Okay, like that. Okay, and I believe I can place about the same on this side. I will need additional chests. Uh, not chests, uh, at least two more miners. Which won't be a problem since I brought in uh, a bunch of resources. Okay, perfect, and of course this will all be red belt, that is red belts. Okay, this will actually provide the power. Okay, now I am facing another problem here. I will need a bunch of coal, so I'll have to drag out a coal mine. There is a coal line over here, but uh, before I do that, I'll want to clear this out and actually bring power here. And I'm thinking of automating these iron stacks, but that could be for another time. Okay, so I'll have each of these actually powering two of these okay perfect then go over here I think this will be enough to satisfy a bunch of my iron plate desires now I need to combine this into one Okay, that will do nicely. Okay, perfect. Then I'm going to need one of these. 
and I actually just want to have that about here mm, uh, no about here will do or I could go double tracks but there's really no need okay so I'm just going to do that and an underground belt as well and of course two splitters I keep forgetting about splitters and I'm all out of gears could make a dedicated gear factory just for myself I keep wanting to do that but I just don't do it Perfect. I mean, this doesn't really have to be that much defended. I mean, from what I saw, all of my enemies are over here. Oh, hold on, this is actually new. No, actually, this is new. Okay, now to bring in coal. I actually just want to... Alright, I'm not gonna power anything up until I can be certain. Now, bringing in a coal line I could do it from here, but that's a whole nother risk. I think it'll be easier just to bring it from my base. So I'll just go ahead and do that. What the hell did I hit now? Okay. Now the closest node is right here. Now I'll need to bring that. I yeah, I can wiggle it up there. I'm just going to need splitter and ah, it's over there okay like so okay I don't actually want to jeopardize the copper it's already in here, so okay, that should about do it. Then I'll just need to underground it, and Well, who knows, I might need coal here. So that should give me ample opportunity to actually separate it if the need, if the need arises. Then I can just do it like this. Okay, I think this will be enough of a distance. Well, it is all the way over there, and I'm dragging it here. So I'm guessing I should take it up. Like that. Okay. Like so. No, a little bit further up. Okay, I think from here I can actually just send it out like so. And I'll just underground it. Oh, but I don't have enough. That is, will I have enough? I haven't picked the uh, 
and picked them out in a long time. Yeah, that's actually quite perfect. That way it won't actually interfere. I can just kind of drag this down a little bit. Okay, I'll need more underground belts. Yeah, from here I can drag other things from, uh, to and from there. So it's all good, but this, this should put a strain in my coal production, I believe. Yeah, it appears so. This one side is actually being funneled through enough. Ah, now my coal <laughs> mines actually have to mine. Because they're usually so stagnant. The only thing that actively uses coal, I believe, uh, besides the furnaces and stuff like that, which are active like 20% of the time, are uh, grenades. I could use more of these, just to put a little bit more of a strain there. Yeah, just grenades. I'm also going to place a bunch of radars over there. So I can actually have a better picture of the surrounding map. And that will catch up eventually. I mean, this place should in theory burn 24-7. Just non-stop action. Oh yeah, also, uh, I changed the armor to white, somehow. I was fiddling around with the settings and suddenly I was white as snow. Oh, I mean, I don't mind it. There we go, like that. And then... Just gonna... Send it in there. Okay, now, yeah, I gotta break this. Perfect. Yeah, that'll do. Like I said, I want this to be a pretty big production thing okay so let's actually let's actually start with a blueprint of sorts okay so I think I can yeah beautiful I can just chain these together. Uh, oh, but this will output a lot and lots of pollution. Okay, the first one I want it to be right here. So I'm just gonna kind of do it like that. And the first two from the other side. I also want it to be this perfectly matches. Fuck yeah. Okay, I will need more of these poles. These poles are just all kinds of awesome. Yeah, I think that will do. And I'll have one behind here. And I'll just connect it like that. Okay, now iron should start flowing in, and that will just go along perfectly. Okay, let me actually align all of my furnaces. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's actually have ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, three more technologies, then I really should 
research the blue technology which will give me access to lots of other interesting technologies like uranium which I'll also try to ship out at least the finished product okay that's awesome mm, but I can see a problem with this well actually no Do, 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 do. All fast inserters because this has to be a fast production, and of course, it has room to expand. And let's actually get uh, 24 more of these. <coughs> reason for that is quite simple. Then I have to dump all these over here. Okay, and I've actually run out of, out of circuits as well. Okay. Now if I actually had the <coughs> okay, this time it's really not a problem. Um, perhaps I should have spaced them out. Now I'll actually have to do a uh, thingy lingy. And I'll actually have to go at it like this. And hope it reaches all the way over there. Yes, it does. One, two. Okay, well, hold on, that can actually go just like that, and then down here. Perfect. Okay. Let me just align all of the other inserters. Okay, that's four. I'm going to need six, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Oh no, that puts it there as well. I was hoping it was going to be different. But nope. Okay. Come on, give me the second one. Perfection. Okay. Okay, perfect. That was easy peasy. Now I need more of these. Should I automate them? Will I automate them? Most likely not. Why? Because I'll forget. Ah, right, that's good. Uh, as you see now the problem will be aligning them well, not really I could just plead ignorance 
Okay, so uh, just just a splitter will be more than enough. Holy! F okay, I'm in no position to argue, and I also need two radars. I'm gonna place them here. But essentially, like that. Did I get a radar? No. But I got a splitter. Perfect. Nice. Okay, let me just place the radars. Gonna place one there and another one there. Okay, that will actually reveal the map for me to look at, and it'll provide some more scanning and test like and stuff like that. So let's see if this fucking hell. Yeah, like that, then let us just do this. For some reason, I really just want to put another ground belt here. Okay, and that will absolutely chew the living crap <laughs> out of all of this. That, oh, it's getting filled relatively quickly, which is surprising. And of course the production can exactly keep up with it. Well, I mean it can. And it is, to, to a certain degree. I see, this actually annoys me. I don't know how to fix this. No, it's not. It's not really that much of a problem. This is almost. Yeah, this is at one k, so that's five stacks. Oh no! This is almost full for fuck's sake. Okay, well, it's not really that much of a problem then. Is it going like that? See, then this technically isn't producing anything. It's kind of like sitting there. And this is only producing. I really do want to fix that, but perhaps for a splitter. Well, this is still getting filled relatively quickly, but it could be much quicker. That would explain a lot. Okay. So I believe if I were to put a splitter here here that would help out and if I were to put another splitter I 
Yeah, I don't think that will do jack shit. Well, I guess it is doing something. Yeah, that is doing something. Nice. Holy crap, this is almost full. This should fill up rather nicely then by the time this empties. Since I have six of them emptying, oh, but I have eight over there. Mm. But they're all burning, which is nice. <sighs> ho ho ho! The train is going, the train is going. Let's actually watch it. Now it arrives here and I just ba 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 bam. Ba 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 bam. Now since there. Oh, and this actually fuels it up. Nice. It inserts a full stack. Okay, since this is going all the way down here, yeah, it's going, it's going. It, it is a long track. Okay, now I did split it up into two here for some reason, and I will go that way and that way, and this will go directly into here. That will go directly into this. And that should, in theory, put a hold on this. And it will supplement it quite nicely. Which is also nice. And that will fill up with iron plates. Okay, still being emptied. Oh, now it's at 1.6k. But it is going rather slowly, but over here, this is being made, and the chests are slowly filling up. And now all of the furnaces are burning. Ba 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 bam. Yeah, and this won't actually empty out so soon. And that essentially means that a bigger, uh, bigger thing here can actually be done. There is a bigger production can be made. Now I shouldn't see any iron shortages anywhere. In theory. Well, it's still a little bit, you know. Ah, but this does consume a lot of iron, but over here, production is nearly capped out. It's a nice surge. Okay, except for this block right here. But this also supplies the main thing over here. And that should produce, but it'll put uh, a much less of a restraint on my main resources. Oh, nice. Two more to go. What I mean by my main resources, I mean my main mine. I don't want it getting dry up, dried up anytime soon. So this will do as a nice supplement and it will boost my income by quite a lot. Uh, not income, but my production by quite a lot. Damn. Look at that shit. You just get sucked in. So I think it has 40 slots. 40 times 100. 4000? My brain isn't working. 
it's what like it's what it's uh, yeah it's 2 a.m. and well it works an entire episode just to set that up now the only thing that's missing here is a bunch of more coal So I'm just gonna go ahead and gather up a bunch of more coal.